everybody. Got the fine day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm glad to see it. And it is. What does it mean when your ears itch all the time? What's up, bro? What does it mean when your ears are itching all the time? When I was writing my notes, I was mentioning how we, as black folks, or as I like to say, us folks, have a history of superstition. And how we would put a superstition on almost everything. Uh, oh, pardon me. How we would say can't split a pole when you're walking with another person or it's bad luck. It means you'll be going in separate directions. Uh, hey, how are you? And then if you're your hands are itching it means that you have money on the way and if your nose is itching somebody's talking about you now to be quite honest I don't know if that's when your ears are itching that somebody's talking about you or when your nose is itching. All I know is that none of it makes sense when you really think about it. And if this was something handed down to us from the Most High, then it would be in the text. And it wouldn't have to make sense. Not to us men. This is that hill that whooped my tail like a week back. And the type of person I am, I refuse to get whipped twice at anything. And if I do, it's not for me. I better find something else to do. But what does it mean when your ears itch all the time? 
and I'm sure some of my smart bus listeners, like my wife, the first thing she would say is, you need to wash your ears. And that's my sentiments exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. But, according to our text of the day, or script, folks do not want their mirrors clean. And that's how babies are. They do not want anybody messing them ears or that nose. And most, of, most of the time, they don't even want you wiping their mouth off or cleaning their diaper. So we sit there and quiet cry and whine because they got boo-boo on their butt. But this is how it is in the church today. Or should I say the church today. As the script says, to ourselves folks that are going to preach what we want to hear nothing more nothing less <laughs> and that's why we have teaching boards that can preach Oh, I mean that can get rid of a preacher with a simple boat. some instances that may be a good thing because so many so-called teachers and preachers have abused their role Mind you, I see it's so-called. Because as the text says, many are called, but few are chosen. And I believe it's worded like that because not only do the most high call every <laughs> for a lot of folks, or many, as that text says, but few are chosen. 
because most of them he didn't call. Most folks call themselves. And chose themselves. And I, as I said, I think the last time I was here on this road, in this spot, that's how you can judge a book by its cover. Not by what they say, but their actions. talking about preachers, which I am today. And back to my point about us Hebrews. how we have in the past and nowadays people pun ourselves preachers and teachers that will say what we want them to say and the text says Because we refuse to listen to sound doctrine. So basically, we're hiring folks to make our ears feel good. And I guess that, that's what the itch of ear means. We're itching for a scratch. from a doctrine we can swallow. And a lot of times we want to put the blame on the preachers, which it squarely belongs to them. However, it also belongs to God. It belongs to us folks who are allowing them to preach and teach us folly. However, when we get before the Most High, we are not going to be able to say we didn't know. Everything we say and do is written in our own particular book. And when we get before them, the books are going to be open. And like I always say, identity without intimacy still equals depart from me. Which means just because we have this new understanding of our true identity as the Most High's chosen people, and literally his children, does not mean he would not send us straight to hell.